Diorio's Frozen Dough Products presents East Utica Now and Then. You may remember from one of our earlier shows the, uh, the local legend that there were two courthouses in Oneida County because way back then people couldn't agree on whether to put one in Rome or in Utica, so they put one in each. We have visited the Rome courthouse, it's beautiful, and now we're going to the Oneida County courthouse which because of the efforts of Judge Robert Julian and Judge Bernadette Romano, this building is being restored to its original glory. It's been 10 years in the making and one part of it is a brochure which is being put together as we speak that will provide people with a walking tour of the courthouse and of its history and the portraits and everything. They had removed the drop ceilings and I saw the beautiful ceiling that was above it and the majestic um, windows that were obscured by these drop ceilings and it was quite clear to me that this was one of those rare opportunities a community has to recover its history and its important architecture. The building was constructed and completed in 1908 and one of the, the crown jewels of downtown Utica. And now we have restored the courtrooms to their original majesty. Well, one of the great things about this project is it has had locals from stem to stern. March Associates are the architects. Alexander Construction is the general contractor. Hardin Furniture has done a magnificent job recreating a proper era courtroom. When you're taking your walking tour of the courthouse, be sure to go to the third floor and uh, visit the north courtroom and look at the portraits on the wall. There's something very historically significant here. Uh, at one time in the 1870s, both United States Senators were from Oneida County. This is one of them, Roscoe Conkling. A little known fact about Roscoe Conkling is this. He was asked by President Ulysses S. Grant to serve as Chief Justice of the United States. He declined within 24 hours, writing back and saying that he could not stand to live the restrictive life of a judge. All due respect to you, Judge Julian. Utica is so filled with history. There were two Uticans serving as United States Senators, the two Senators from New York State, at the same time in the 1870s. One was Roscoe Conkling, the other was Francis Kernan. One was a Democrat, the other was a Republican. Do you know which was which? The person who emails the correct answer first will be sent a gift certificate. We may be in the Oneida County Courthouse but I'm standing in front of the portrait of a man who goes even beyond that because he founded the World Court and it's Elihu Root. He also won the Nobel Peace Prize. When you come into the two new courtrooms, you can't help but admire and to feel all of the woodwork in here. Everything was crafted and created by hardened furniture. And if you look at the carvings here, they were done by a carver, Dale Reister from Camden. Absolutely stunning. When you're strolling around the courthouse, don't uh, pass by these. They're those old-fashioned mail chutes. And if I were to estimate, I probably put thousands of letters down these back in the 1960s, no, 1970s. As you're walking around, notice these too, because these, and they're all around the courthouse, were the old-fashioned gas lanterns that lighted the courthouse. And then look down at your feet because there are floors here that are really quite beautiful and many, many famous lawyers and judges walked on these floors. The best way for me to describe it is um, I was a judge under the old courtrooms and now I function in these courtrooms for about five months. The way people conduct themselves in these rooms is very different. Uh, what would be rowdy lawyers and uh, litigants difficult to control now function reverently 
the courtrooms reflect what our Constitution means, which is uh, the, there should be jury trials, fairness, fundamental justice in a constitutional democracy. Freight train runs through this town at 530.